Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, I got something I wanted to bring up to you. As you guys know, most of the year, whenever I'm hammock camping, which is about what I do, the cover that I bring is a poncho liner. And what I do is I keep it in a compression bag and it's up tight and it's about this big or so. And it normally goes in the top of the pack or it's rolled up and tied underneath, something like that. And it's a quick, light cover for me because most of the time down here in my part of the south, the temperature is somewhere around, you know, at night, upper 60s, maybe. And then during the height of the summer, it's in the 70s and it rarely gets below 80. So I just need something to put over me and that's it. And I even talked about one of my earlier videos of using just a bed sheet that I modified into a super light one in the dead of summer when I just need something to throw over the top of me. It really isn't for warmth, so to speak. Well, I've been looking at that. And I saw this piece of product that um, Sean Kelly on, on Corporal's Corner, he did an in-depth review of a piece of gear that was called the Swag Man. Um, I guess it's sort of a poncho liner. That it is a sleeping bag slash poncho liner slash rain hood slash overcoat. And it's got a lot of features. And I looked at it and I was thinking, you know, that would add a lot to my game. And I thought really, really hard about getting that. And the price is somewhere around $125, 135 something like that at the time that I looked at it. So that's a pretty good investment. Well, I wasn't able to come up with the money. But as you know, I've been doing the one wind hammock bit. And recently, quite successfully, I uh, went to Frozen Foot just with my hammock. And it was by hammock, the under quilt system. That system is what I used. I had every piece but one of that system. And to be honest, I was kind of happy with it that way. Um, I've got the hammock, which is going to be, you know, four season. I can add the uh, under quilt when it gets a little cooler. I can add the liner to the under quilt, which they call the blanket, to take it all the way down. I've been down to 17 with it now. And uh, the tarp set looks great. Then you got the, uh, the thing that's called a windsock now I use that you put over the entire thing and you cinch it up at the bottom and it stops that air draft and adds more temperature. So I'm set. I've got it all. I'm in position. While I was at Frozen Foot, Randy Smith, who's of stitchgear.com, Stitch a good friend of mine, and he is also a dealer for it. He said, you don't have the top quilt. So I really don't need it. I use a big MS sleep system bag and all like that. And he said, yeah, but it's, it's a good piece of gear. And I'm thinking, you know, okay, cool, you know. And he then holds this thing up. And I said, that's a poncho liner. He said, no, it's not. It's the top quilt. Well, old Blackie's mind starts working. Now, this is what we got. This is called the top quilt. Okay. It's definitely not much. If it is slightly heavier than just a standard U.S. Army poncho liner, not enough to really tell. You know, apples and apples. It, it's close enough. But what makes this stand out is what it's doing. It's not just a poncho liner. Okay, it's got a, a DuPont type of filler in it that I can tell you from using it now, it's double, about double as warm as a standard poncho liner, okay? I have camped out in my hammock with this is my only top cover, okay? Where I had the underquilt underneath me and I went down to 38 with it the other night and I was warm. That's, that's 20 degrees cooler than I would have taken a poncho. I wouldn't have gone down below 58 with just a poncho. 20 degrees more with this. Now I'm a warm sleeper. But as you see, the end of it cinches up. And in this configuration that you can see right here, it's a 
top quilt. Now what you got is you got it snapped together and you got a tube. Put your legs into the tube and then you take the body and throw it around you like this. So you're in the tube, so to speak. It's water repellent. You pour water on it, it sheets off. You could probably use it as a rain jacket. Okay? I haven't tried holding it under water yet and seeing if it can do it, but it surely doesn't absorb water like a poncho liner. I'll give it that. The inside is black to help hold heat. The outside is this OD green. But here's where the little fun part is. These snaps come loose. The bottom of it has two cinch cores and I simply wrapped it around and pulled it up tight. Like this. Doo -da -doo -da -da. There we go. When you release those shock cords, take that last snap out, it opens up and becomes that wide. Okay? So now it's a great big long wide. In the middle of it, right here, there's three snaps and a flap. Those are your head hole. So now, it turns into a poncho liner. You reach back here behind you and you grab the two snaps and you bring it around to the front and it snaps. Now I've got to sit by the fire Kind of like that swag man, ain't it? It just don't have a hood on it. Don't have that pocket right here. But other than that, hey, pretty dang good. Here's the other little thing. U.S. Army poncho will go over it. Since I don't have a hood to interfere with the hood, I usually don't wear the hood. I'm using my hat. I normally take the, the actual poncho hood unless it is just bucketing down. In which case, I'll just roll it up around me like a collar, and I'll put my hat on. If it's going to be super, super bad, then I will take my hat off, crush it up, and put the poncho hood on. This will fit up under it. So now i got a super warm poncho liner to go with it that will snap. Now, I am about 5 foot 9 now, and I weigh 190 pounds, and I can snap this in front of me, as you can see. And yeah, it, you know, the arms are facing forward, so to speak. You're not going to be chopping wood with it. But for just sitting around a fire, you can snap the two lower snaps and make it go even further down. So this could be a viable jacket in the field for warmth. The neck opening snaps shut and is out of the way because this is a quilt. I'm going to lay down and put my feet in it and throw it over me. And so therefore... This head opening is not underneath me, it's on top, closed up. See? It's relatively light. It's extremely slicky material. Water just sheets off of it. So, hey, here's the best part. It's about half the price of the uh, Swagman. I want to say, now you're going to quote me on this, but I'm wanting to say this was around like 70 bucks, something like that, it was close. And all you gotta do to put it back into the sleeping bag is it's got the series of snaps right there. Now, could you modify this? Yeah. I'm thinking about adding some ties to mine, some tie ties. And all that's gonna be is I'm gonna take, five, uh, take a paracord, take the guts out of it, burn one end, and then leave you know, double it, burn both ends, double it in half about that long, and right in the middle of it, sew it out here at the edge somewhere, so I can tie it into a poncho, okay? It also means that I could tie it to other pieces like I do my poncho liner, and etc. Just real quick, just snap it back together. I could also add more snaps if I wanted to, to have it snap in different configurations around me. And all, for about half the price of that swag man, so I've got a really, really warm poncho liner that I can open up just as a blanket. Now, when you snap it together, you got the open end. 
you've got the two shock cords right here. Just pull it two. Just like that. So that end cinches up. And then I just take it, wrap them around, wrap it around, come up here and give a double loop loose on it so it cinches. And I'm back to a sleeping bag configuration. That quick. It's a sleeping bag. It's an emergency rain poncho. It's an emergency jacket. It's a poncho liner that I could hook into the poncho and then use it as a sleeping bag so I got a waterproof outer shell and even more temperature rating. It weighs about the same, close, realistic, of a standard U.S. Army poncho and it compresses down comparable. It's a little more bulky, but, but it's at least double as warm. It's half the price. Just wanted to pass this on to you. In the description box, I'm going to leave the connection to Stitch Gear, the dealer, so you can go look at these if you want to look at them yourself, talk to him about it. But this is my new piece of kit, and I'm not going to be carrying a poncho liner this year. I'm going to be carrying this. This would be a better sleeping bag for me to carry in the summer, in the spring, in the early fall before I have to go to a real sleeping bag. I think it gives me a lot more options, and I just wanted to share that with you. Please leave any questions or comments below, guys. And if there's anything you'd like me to, to look at or review or something in the future, please let me know. Till next time, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.